Hi everyone, hope you're having a good day. I'm Mark and this is episode 32 of Minecraft Stone Block. I am in our giant power sphere room and just take a quick peek. We are almost up to 200k RF per tick coming in and uh, we might actually fill this thing up before we finish the series. So uh, I have been busy between episodes and the first thing I want to show you that I've done is I have set up a whole row of neutro neutronium collectors to start making all our singularities. And these are in various stages of processing. This, the iron one is almost done actually, 75%. Uh, you know, most of them are like 50% or slightly less. And there are a couple standouts. The gold is really not kicking off yet because gold production is kind of slow. Chickens only produce nuggets instead of bars. So our gold production is a bit slow. Uh, well, quartz is picking up because we're getting a lot of quartz out of our uh, void ore miners. And everything else is doing okay. The last slot, however, is empty. Because if you recall the singularities that we need for our infinity ingots, the last one we need is the, not the infinity ingots, the infinity catalyst. The last one we need is the flux singularity, which uses fluxed electron blocks, electrum blocks, which gets made from either essences from mystical agriculture or in the induction smelter from fluxed electron blend. Uh, ooh, that's another part that I didn't do. And making flux electron blend is made by combining pulverized silver and gold with destabilized redstone. And we don't do that anywhere yet. So this is kind of what I want to work on today. Out of curiosity. Destabilize redstone into electrum blend. Okay. Yeah, about the same thing. Uh, we might actually go this route. So, the project I want to work on today is actually setting up production for that fluxed electrum and uh, making blocks of it and feeding it into our neutron collector or neutron compressor there. And to do that, we need to crush our gold and silver. Uh, make destabilized redstone and combine it all in oops in a reasonable way and I think I'm gonna do it all right here uh, this is a decent location we've got power available we've got our AE2 system is available here and I th think I have most of what we need so what I need to start with is I need a couple pulverizers because we need to make um, the pulverized gold and silver to make the electrum. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do our usual. I'm going to stick a chest here and I'm going to take something slightly different. I'm going to take an export bus. Oops. Stick it on this chest and I'm going to take a capacity card and stick it here. So this will be able to export into this. And I'm going to set this up so that it just constantly exports. Um, and from that, I am going to take the items that we need, which are gold, silver, and the item we're going to use for our uh, actual destabilized redstone production, which is the we're getting a ton of this destabilized clathrate from the uh, void ore miner. And if we look at how this is used, if we put this into a magma crucible, it gives us destabilized redstone. So that's what we're going to use to make our destabilized redstone. And to do all this, so we need, where is it? We need our magma crucible as well. And it's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze here, but that's okay. We never come to this room anyhow. And we need you on top. So we're going to set these to 
input from this side. And for now, I'm not going to upgrade any of these machines. I just want to sort of run them at their slowest speed. And then we need to take all the outputs, and I think I'll run the outputs out the back so I can hook up. Oh, and I need the fluid transposer. Or do I? Or do I? My plan was initially to uh, take the, the outputs of the uh, magma crucible, run it into a fluid transposer, and use buckets to empty the buckets because there's a crafting recipe that uses gold, silver, and uh, a bucket of destabilized redstone to make the flux that we need. However, I can go ahead and pre-combine using the crafter. I think we can do it this way. I think we can take the crafter. No matter what, we're going to have to put the fluid transposer here. But I think we can take the crafter, stick it here, and the crafter is going to take, we put this here, gold and silver, and we set these to insert. I don't think Magma Crucible can't take gold and silver in, I don't think. Let me double check that. Ooh, maybe it can. Can it make molten metal? Yeah, I guess it can. Actually, so we need some filters. We don't have any item filters, so let me make... I'll go ahead and make three filters. And I'll grab this stuff back out. And I'll grab the... Whoops. The clathrate I have in here. And what I want to do is... Set up one filter for silver. One silver filter for gold. And one silver one filter for the clath rate. I cannot talk. So this gets the what did I put the yeah, I put the wrong one in there, of course. This will get either gold or silver. It doesn't really matter. This gets the other metal. This gets the cloth rate. This is going to extract and be always active. So if I throw this stuff in here, it should all get pulled out and it's all going in here. None of these are going to run because they don't have power yet. That's fine. Um, so this one now needs to send its output to this side. And this one, same thing. Oops. I don't think this has any... This doesn't have any uh, secondary outputs, so I can do that. And what we're going to do is pipe, well, that shouldn't have, let me do this. You get input from that side. And you also get input from the bottom, I think. So, this is going to get a little complicated. So, we take our output from here, we extract on green, we extract from here on green, we insert into here on green, and this one we insert on brown, and this one we are going to extract on brown. Sorry. That's insert on green, extract on brown. So what we're going to do is we're pulling the crushed rock or the crushed metal out of these, putting it in here where we will turn it into our electron blend. That electron blend will then get sucked out and put into here where the destabilized redstone that we're making here will also come in. It should fill and just drop to here. So I think we can test all of this at this point. And that's not the bag I want. I want this bag, which has all my toys in it. And 
I just need to hook up some power. All these machines take power, so I'm just going to do... Oops. And then... Yeah, we may as well just finish this off. Okay, so these should all be getting power. They are. This is slowly making destabilized redstone. This is pulverizing silver. This is pulverizing gold. There's our gold coming in. There's our silver coming in. So we're going to make a recipe. And I'm going to remember that setup just so we always have at least one of each. If I do that and I do that, That's going to make us our electrum blend, and it's going to send it to the output. So all we need is a place for that output to go. Oops, that is really not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let me grab my Yetta wrench. And it may be that this machine actually has sidedness. around here and get rid of that you're extracting on brown oh it pulled it out oh no it's got keep set so it's not pulling anything out yet you have a little bit of destabilized redstone so to feed all this what I need is gold I need one bar of gold I need silver just one bar and i need uh clathrate i need the redstone clathrate and these go into this export bus which i'm going to leave on the slow speed for now which will start immediately exporting Maybe it's going to do... Okay, there we go. Round robin. That's what I want. So now we should start seeing one of each material come out of this. Silver, gold, clathrate. Okay, so it is round robining the output. Um, this interface is sucking the inputs from the chest and sticking them into the various processing units and we are making our fluxed electrum blend which is what we want so the next thing to do is figure out how to make fluxed electrum blend into uh, something useful fluxed electrum blend that's how we make it how do we use it we need an induction smelter that's fed red, that's fed sand, and our fluxed electrum ingots. So, where do I want to put that mess? Oh, that's not too bad. That is not bad at all. So we need an induction smelter, which we should just be able to make. There it is. Uh, we probably need this. The rest I think we should have. We do. So stick this stuff out of the way for the moment. I'm going to put this on top of everything. And I'll go ahead and set all your inputs to null for the moment. You are going to need both power and an item conduit. The power we can put there the item conduit one we can put here and this is going to be set to insert so this one we can stick in sand turn that on so we grab some sand we put the sand in here so that's the fourth ingredient we need and this should start receiving sand in a minute Assuming I actually set, I did. Oh, assuming I set that correctly. 
Okay. Oh no! Alright, that's a problem. Uh, we need another item filter. Let's just make one more. The only thing we want going in here for now is sand, so stick that in here and pull that silver out. I'm just going to dump all this stuff in here for now. Eventually this is going to back stuff and I think I might just leave these running at a slow speed. So we take our, elect our gold, and gold and silver out of here. We make our electrum blend. Our electrum blend comes up here. We make our fluxed electrum blend. So really what we can do is from here we can configure U to an output and all we need to do is stick U there. We extract always active. We insert always active and this should start. Oh, uh, that's awful. Interesting. There we go. So, there we go. I had to split the inputs to two different colors so we could make sure only sand goes in here and only fluxed electrum blend goes in here. That's making our fluxed electrum ingot. And we can even be slightly trickier. I'm running out of useful sides. I don't think I can set the inputs to... I don't think I can set this to input and output. Can I? I don't remember what that setting means. What happens if I set you to extract on brown and just pipe like so and I break this connection uh, don't need that connection either and I do insert on brown here Does that do what I want? Does that pull? Oh, that's dumb. That's what I want. And then I want... Oh, uh, no. I think that's what... That may be what I want. Let's see if this works. If I take all this, are we going to get sand in there? Th this is what I'm concerned about, is, is we're going to get sand in this slot. It doesn't look like we will. And we should end up with fluxed electrum ingots down here only. Let's make sure we end up with only the right things here. Oh yeah, I'm going to stick this back in here. This will eventually back stuff, which is what we want. Yeah, I think, I think this is correct. It looks like it is doing exactly what I want. So, why don't we do our next recipe, which is we take this and we turn it into a block. And we keep, we remember, we send that to the external, so that's good. Let's remember these again just to make sure we keep at least one slot dedicated to each of those and we apply.
And there we have our electrum flux blocks are starting to accumulate. And we don't really need to speed this up with the, with the speed mode because this is not the slowest thing in our process, I suspect. I suspect this is going to be our slow poke. which I think I will go ahead and upgrade. So let's uh, upgrade you. It's still pretty slow. Now oh, this is actually slow too. Okay. Not a whole lot faster, but a little bit faster. Okay. Um, the last step of all this is there's two last things I want to do. I want to take our flux blocks out of here. And I want to send them to our uh, neutron collectors. Oops, wrong bag. So the easiest way to send stuff over there is to grab this. And we don't need any more energy cable. Uh, wow. Extract on brown. Insert on brown. Why don't we just do something like that? And we'll do an ugly cable hack here. Oops. We'll do insert on blue and we'll do extract well before we do that I want to make sure I put an item filter in there because the only thing we want to extract out in this direction is one of these blocks oops let's put that there you get this. Yeah, this is really ugly. But it should work. So now are we extracting from here? Not sure we can actually extract from the top of this. Uh, we're not, because we're not extracting on blue yet. Why are you extracting Electrum Blend? I put that in the right spot because I put the filter in the wrong spot. All right. Well, we lost some Electrum Blend. Oh, well. But we did extract all of our fluxed Electrum Blocks, which are currently going to waste because they're just going into this chest. They have EMC, so they're going to get dumped into our EMC storage. So the next and final thing we need to do oh, before we leave, one more thing I want to do here. I actually want to, I want to be able to shut this off at will. And I don't think there's a way to require the export bus to have to use a redstone signal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was going to put this here. I kind of made a mess of the cables over here. You know what? I have another. I have another point here. Let me just do this. I'm going to break this. I'm just going to stick this point here. Flux production. That's fine. Get rid of this. I'm going to put a redstone, redstone, oh, I don't even need to do that. I'm being dumb. Ah, oh, why did you do that? I don't even need that. Uh, redstone conduit. You need to extract, always active. You need to insert on green. And you need actually to be active without signal. So if I stick a 
lever here. We should stop extracting. Which means this should... Yeah, this is running down now. So I just wanted to stop this for the moment. Uh, I want to have this switch here so I can turn it off at will. Um, I actually don't mind if this is running right now, so I'm going to leave it running. And that should start, yeah, that just fills these right back up. So this is all working as desired. Uh, I don't want to just let this run infinitely because, in fact, I am going to turn it off because this chest is full. Um, I'm just going to let it empty that chest while we do other things. Because I don't want to use all our gold and silver just making that. And I think the uh, clathrate will be the limiting factor there because we're not getting as much of that as other things. But uh, I want to leave the switch there just in case. So the final thing we need to do is take this flux blocks, stick them in here. Um, I've already set this up. Or did I? I did not. Let me pull one of those blocks back out. I need to set one final filter. Wow, where did I get that gold filter from? Oh shoot, that came out of uh, one of our machines over in the other spot. So we're extracting only, only these flux blocks. So we don't extract the ingots or the nuggets, which we shouldn't get, but you never know. So we make this always active. This is insert. And when we look in here, we should have the beginnings of a singularity, which we do. So that is going to run in the background and build our final singularity. Um, we should now be accumulating all except gold, which we just don't have enough gold yet to uh, accumulate these. You can see we just don't have any gold in this chest yet. Let me go back. I need to make one more item, item filter. I need to put uh, gold in that item filter to replace the one I accidentally took out of the pulverizer downstairs. And that should give us a working system. And I will probably speed this up as usual. But remember, once we make one singularity, we never have to make any more because singularities have, uh, singularities have EMC. So once we make a singularity, we can duplicate it at will. So we're on our way to making singularities. And as part of that process, running back to the other end of the base again, I have gone ahead and set up a second extreme crafting table, and I'm starting to fill in the items that we need to do this. And if we recall our... Uh, Our recipe looks something like this. I've gone ahead and made the three blocks we need. We have plenty of neutronium. We have crystal matrix ingots and diamond lattices. And we have the endus pearl, which, you know, that's pretty easy to make. The record fragment, I just snagged one out of our loot bag system. So what we're really waiting on is all these singularities and these two food recipes. And I don't really think we're going to have time to pursue those today. But I can tell you that the, the Cosmic Meatball is relatively easy. Now we can start the Cosmic Meatball. Um, I went digging in our A2 system and found all of the meat that we have available and stuck, stuck it in here. So we have pork chops, fish, salmon, raw beef. Uh, we have chicken. We have potatoes. Uh... I think that was all we need. And if we look at the cosmic meatball, we need neutroniums, we need beef, which we have, chicken, which we have, pork chops, rabbit, and raw fish. So we have all of that except for the rabbit. So where do you get rabbit? You get rabbit from a ground trap from Pam's Harvest Craft. This is a really easy block to make, so... Blah. Oops, typing in the wrong box as usual. 
What did I need? Oh, I need a trapdoor. There we go. So we need a ground trap and we need some fruit bait. Now fruit bait is also easy to make. It's just some string with a piece of fruit. So I'm going to grab some fruit bait and some and a ground trap and I knew that our nature area over here would come in handy. So if I remember right, the way these work is I don't remember if you dig them into the ground or if you just stick them on top. I want to say that you dig these into the ground. So what you do is you do that, you stick the bait in there, and you go away for a while. And I'm going to let that run for a few minutes and then come back and see if we get anything. And that will tell us if it's set up correctly. And while I do that, I am going to go ahead and clean up my inventory a little bit. It's actually pretty clean. Oh, I know what else we wanted to do. In between episodes, I did do a little bit of quest progress. Uh, if we look at the power generation tab, I have completed the tier 7 and tier 8 solar panels. These were just uh, mass crafting, so there wasn't really anything to show. I just went ahead and did them off camera. But it does give us two more loot chests to claim. And let's see if we get anything fun. We get some more viaducts, and we get an Invar Hammer. Sort of the classic, haha, you get nothing reward. Um... The other thing that I've been working on in the background is seeing if we can make the rainbow generator, which if we look at our power tab is one of the last things we have left to make. I still have to upgrade our solar array a few more times, which we're, we're moving toward. We actually can probably do the tier four now. Uh, but the rainbow generator, the rainbow generator comes in two halves and to make these, you need one of each of the uh, other generators that we made from extra utilities, which we already made for the quest. And you need the top half, which is the other half of the generators, which needs, what am I missing? I'm missing a resonating redstone crystal, which I'm sure we can make. We can make the top half of this. We have the generator half. So I think all we need to do is stick both these in a crafting table. And we have the Rainbow Generator, which finishes another quest for us. And we'll see what we get from this. We get a Flask of Magma Skin, which is another really useful uh, item. So the Rainbow Generator generates an insane amount of energy. However, to, to make it run, you have to have one of... Let's see if I can figure out how to show you. You have to have one of each of these generators running in near proximity to this thing. So uh, there's there's one generator of the of the 16 you need running, and that is the slimy generators we have downstairs that were our initial power. So setting this up takes a lot of work, and I'm not I'm not sure I'm really going to do it, but. I might, I might, I might do that as the last project of the series. <clears throat> uh, speaking of which, even though we still have plenty of stuff to do, we are approaching the end of our quest book. Uh, we have just a little bit of stuff to do down here, which is all sort of grinding through infinity blocks. Power generation is just upgrading solar arrays. Mystical agriculture is done. Storage is building all the components for an RS system, which I may or may not do. Draconic Evolution is probably the biggest. We have to go kill the Chaos Dragon. And Project D, the biggest one, is the Tome of Knowledge. All of these other ones are, are pretty straightforward, other than the one we're working on now, which is the Transmutation Tablet, which is our, you know, sort of first goal with Infinity stuff. Um, so, I've been thinking about next steps and uh what my pack to do next and if you have any thoughts on that please feel free to leave me a comment about it 
Uh, it's currently the end of January, so sort of Project Ozone 3 just came out, Stoneblock 2 just came out recently, which I don't think I'm going to do. Um, and Project Ozone 3, I probably want to wait a while and, and let it stabilize a bit. Um, so I'm probably looking at another quest pack because I like quests to drive things. And I'm, I'm leaning towards something that just uses a standard overworld setup as opposed to a skyblock or a, another stone block kind of setup because skyblocks and stone blocks have some similarities. You know, you're always either building out platforms or digging tunnels to build stuff within. And I kind of want to get away from that and actually have an overworld to explore. So. I was looking at the Awakening mod pack, and that that may be a, a next choice. Um, but there are there are plenty of other ones out there. So if you have any thoughts on that, just let me know. Um, so we are getting uh, materials from our our bait, and I need to make some more bait. I'm just going to make a stack and stick all this in here, except for one, which I'm just going to pitch. And I'm going to continue to let that run between episodes. So um, I think we've reached a good wrapping up point. Uh, like I said, please uh, let me know what you'd like to see as far as what mod pa pack I should play in the next series. Uh, next time we will be able to take another step on the path towards Infinity Catalyst and Infinity Ingots. And that will eventually get our transmutation table tablet up and running and put us one step closer to finishing off all our quests along the start of stone block series. Because once we get infinity stuff, we can get the armor and the world breaker and all the other stuff. I will continue to do some background quest stuff like uh, solar array upgrades in between episodes. Um, but until next time, I think I'm calling it. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. If you like what you saw, please consider hitting like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to get notifications of new videos. And I'll talk to you later.